Hi, my name is Daniel Brown, and I'm a manufacturing technical specialist with Autodesk. Today we're going to take a look at how we can integrate Microsoft's SharePoint solution with Vault Manufacturing 2010. Many customers use SharePoint already to uh, share content, to publish documents, and for general workflow. And the ability to integrate your Vault data with SharePoint is very beneficial to some customers. So as you can see on my screen, I have a, uh, I've logged into my SharePoint site on our Autodesk server. And what I've done is set up a Vault folder that we're going to use to publish our information. So the first thing I want to do is either use an existing folder or set up a new folder that I can use to publish information to. And I'm going to set up a new folder here called Power Supply that I'm going to create on my SharePoint server and then I'm going to publish Vault data from uh, Vault into SharePoint. So I have my Power Supply 300 watt folder. And let's switch over to Vault Manufacturing and I'll show you how we can actually set up Vault to publish to SharePoint. So the first thing we need to do is go into our Administration Tools. Tools Admin. And you'll see on our screen here at the bottom we have the option for SharePoint directories. This is where we can configure one or more directories to publish our Vault data to. So let's take a look at what we have already set up under this Vault folder. And you'll see I'm publishing to uh, this particular URL. I'm going to copy that so I can reuse it. And it's going to ask me to log in. And I'll use my Vault creden or my SharePoint credentials for that. And then let's set up a new directory that we can use. I'm going to call this Power Supply, since this is the assembly that we're sharing. I'm going to paste this in, and then I'm going to use the um, name of the folder that I set up already inside of SharePoint. And we'll set this up and you'll see that I now have two folders that I can use to publish my information to. Okay, so that's the admin. Once this is done once, you don't need to do that again. So how do we actually go about publishing information? Well, we're going to use the pack and go functionality inside of Vault Manufacturing. This is the particular assembly that I'm going to push up to SharePoint, the visualization files. So underneath my actions folder, you'll see that I have the option to publish to SharePoint. And I'll get this particular dialog box and you'll see that I have a couple of ways that I can actually send my packages up. I can send a zip file of all these uh, these files so they're gonna stay in their native format. I can send them, send them unzipped in their native format. I can use a DWFX or just a DWF package. DWF again is a lightweight viewable um, that Autodesk uses for their visualization purposes. I can send it to a destination folder on my network, a mail recipient. In this case, obviously, we're going to choose a SharePoint directory. And again, we can include or not include specific types of uh, files here. And I can either choose that existing vault or I can choose the power supply folder. And this is going to push those files then up to my SharePoint server. Now let's see, let's go over to SharePoint and actually see what happened here. So I'm going to go over to my SharePoint session. Let's go into this Power Supply 300W folder that we just created and you'll see that we just published this new SharePoint file. And I'm going to open this in a new tab so we can uh, jump over to this and see how it, how it behaves inside of uh, Internet Explorer. The nice thing about the DWIF format is that Internet Explorer recognizes the DWIF format and you can see that I can even visualize this in 3D. Even though I'm still right within Internet Explorer, um, anyone with Internet Explorer has this capabilities now. I have a rich selection of tools. I can even do some slicing if I want to on this. I have the ability to mark up these files right within Internet Explorer also. I can do uh, markups, I can do um, measuring with my measuring tools. 
uh, there's a variety of information that we can we can add to this particular folder. So it makes it nice because anyone with access to SharePoint then and Internet Explorer has the ability to create markups. So that's how we can publish information directly from Vault Manufacturing up to a Microsoft SharePoint server. I hope you've enjoyed that and hopefully it's been helpful to you and have a good day.